Thank you, Jared. And I'm here with Carrie Hefner with this week's In the Garden, and we're talking about super plants. Yeah. It's my favorite topic. Oh, yeah. This one is always for <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is always exciting. When uh -huh. the new super plants are announced, they were announced yesterday, and we have some great options for you this year, folks. So take a look at this first one. This is going to be the Jane Magnolia, Magnolia Hybrid. This is one of the deciduous magnolias, and this is uh, a variety that comes out of the USDA's um, uh, little Girl series, and uh, this one will stay compact, get to about 12 feet tall. There it is, and I want folks to look to the right hey. of that picture. You'll see it's planted right in front of a wall. This is something that's perfect for a, uh, a, an informal type shrub. So if you're looking for something to fill a space up against a building or a structure, and it's a sunny location, and you want color there, Jane Magnolia is something to keep in mind. Uh, as I said, it stays uh, a, a manageable size. It won't get enormous, about 15 uh, feet tall by 12 feet wide, and you can keep that uh, managed with pruning. Uh, again, very useful as an informal hedge and full sun acid soil just like other uh, magnolias um, and so uh, that's the Jane magnolia and it's a perfect time to plant woody perennials right now we still have a lot of time uh, heading through late winter uh, so we can get woody perennials in the ground now now if you want hot weather color and we'll uh, do the other super plants later in the year when it's time. We have some wonderful color options. Here's our first one. This is the porter weed and this uh, selection as a super plant covers all varieties that are out there. Here's uh, some porter weeds down in our trial gardens in Hammond. That's one of the blue varieties and then the red porter weeds are equally as stunning. These are high nectar plants. These are nectar producers that will attract pollinators to your garden, native bees and honeybees. And so those are all the porter weeds. Uh, not native, but uh, pantropical. A lot of the species are pantropical and they do get up in the South Florida some, but great for Northern Louisiana too. So porter weeds, great for summer color. Very good for nectar plants, so pollinating gardening is huge right now, so if you don't have porter weeds in your landscape, you're missing out on how to draw pollinators. Heat and drought tolerant too, which is the good news, and uh, certain varieties stay compact, but they will get up to about three feet tall, so uh, a way to put some visual interest into uh, the, the ornamental landscape with vertical structure too. So Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And if you have any questions, you can always call the LSU Ag Center. Thank you so much, okay. Gary. And up next, Janet Briard will have all the details on ULM's Fish Fry Fridays. That's after the break here on Louisiana Living. Trade names are used by the LSU Ag Center for clarity and information purposes only. Neither commercial endorsement of specific products nor a recommendation to the exclusion of similar products is implied.